And welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning. So happy to welcome Rick Pope. He's from Goodwill Publishers. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. And you've got a very special gift for us today in yes. uh, in our community, and this is why you're here. Tell me a little bit about the book, A Special Gift. Uh, it's called uh, A Special Gift, and it's under, uh, there's a website called My A Special Gift. There's actually two books. Uh, the hardbound is edited more for five-year-olds, uh, some early six-year-olds, and they're primarily used in kindergarten or preschool. Where did this come from? Uh, I work, again, for uh, Goodwill Publishers. We are a Judea Christian publishing company, and we have in-house editors. And uh, we also have had support from various uh, f- folks that has helped uh, in, in, in this age bracket, mm-hmm. the five-year-old kids that uh, are learning how to social skills, manners, politeness, and we've had some assistance in that uh, in terms of getting them to be acquainted with what we're trying to prove to show to them in the, that graphic and that type of editing. So what we're talking about is a book, a hardbound book. Yes. And, and an accompanying coloring book for younger children that talks about God's love, basically. Yes. And you make this available to whom? Uh, we work from state to state, like my area is Ohio, uh, western Pennsylvania, and all of West Virginia. And how it's set up is through, we have salespeople, uh, me for example, and I cover those that area. Each and every week I go into each community. I have about 46 communities that I'm responsible for. Wow. And these communities, I go in and and go to all the faith-based schools. Uh, Unfortunately, because our book has the word God in it, um, we cannot go into public schools, Mm -hmm. nor can we uh, provide these for Head Start programs. But they, I go to the schools and I ask them how many they need for each uh, age bracket. The workbook or slash coloring book is for three-year-olds. They can't quite read yet. Right. So the first year we give these to the three-year-olds. And then the following year when they become uh, four, later fours, early fives, they'll get the hardbound. So you are giving really some nice supplemental teaching materials to teachers of our area Christian schools, parochial schools, and so forth. Yes. Um, Can I just editorialize here and say what a shame that can't have the word God in public schools? Yes. Uh, Actually, our company, Goodwill Publishers, uh, we've been around for over 80 years. And at one time we had a, a book basically edited for first graders. And uh, I believe it was called My Favorite Book. Mm -hmm. And it was just a simple reading material, somewhat like this one is, Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like the old Dick and Jane. Yes. Which this follows the same pattern. It's just that every once in a while you'll see God loves you, uh, God created the world, or something in that fashion. We, uh, We mentioned Christmas time. Well, in essence, back in, I think it was in 1952, we started editing editing this book, and it became quite a uh, standard book that you'll find in most public schools. Mm -hmm. It was used for first graders, and we used to sell the book at that time for uh, to uh, schools in the in areas of uh, whatever states that we worked in. But then in, I think it was in the 70s, 78 possibly, uh, we lost our uh, relationship with the public schools Mm. because of the separation of church and state. Mm. So what our company did for a while, we used these same type of material and put them in doctor's offices. Yes. And uh, when the kids came in to get their shots and their physicals, the doctor would hand them a book to take home with them. The books are free to the schools, or in that case, when we were working with the doctor's offices, they were also free. Because if you notice, each book has sponsors in it. Mm -hmm. And since we are here in the Canton area, uh, very proud to know that WNPQ helped sponsor us in this area and also in Dover, New Philly. 
happy to do it. Yes, and also in Maslin, too, by the way. I forgot. Great. Uh, no, it's a beautiful book. It's beautifully illustrated, beautifully done. Let's talk a little bit about the content in it. What is this book teaching children? Uh, it begins with uh, f- the introduction to the family of who, you know, the mom, dad, grandpa, and the sisters and brothers and cousins. You realize, let me stop you right there. You realize right, right there, you're talking about controversial, something right. controversial in the day and age in which we live. Right. Can you believe it? Well, I can, I can experience, I've experienced the, the, the questions from, I have gone into daycare centers that were not faith-based schools, mm-hmm. but just to, to be, to pacify a possible sponsor, they would ask me to, would you mind seeing if one of the schools would give these out? And I knew before I even got there that they wouldn't give them out. But I had a lady recommend to our editors if they wouldn't mind putting two moms and two dads oh my. pictures oh in my. the front of the book. And that's pretty much what my response was to at the time. Yeah. So but, to say that a family yeah, is a mom and a dad and kids. Right. And then it, it starts to uh, get into um, – the people, the other people that they'll meet, and the community leaders, teachers, policemen, firemen, and then it starts to go into the four seasons of the year, and the four and the tastes, uh, the seven uh, uh, or sense. five senses. Oh, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. yeah, the five senses, uh-huh. and it has uh, colorful pictures of the kids, and each page has a star on it. And that kind of enhances the attention span of the children as they're being taught the various social skills in here. Mm-hmm. They're also looking to find that star. Oh, fun! So, and then as it gets through most of the uh, family and then learning, uh, it goes into we have a page called freedom and patriotism, patriotism, mm-hmm. and uh, activities that they share at school with each other, uh, various learning schools that they're learning. And we also display and talk about the meaning of Christmas, that mm-hmm. Jesus has a birthday just like you do. Yes. You know, listening to you talk and remembering back to my own elementary school years, this would be something that we would just have as a reading book. This content, yep. um, the message, including Christmas, would have been something that we just did in reading class during my era. Yep. What has happened, Rick? Uh, you know, it's part of the reason why I still do this. I mean, I don't do this job because I make so much money at it, believe me. <laughs> but I do it because I've seen the faces on uh, several kids that are, and I've gotten re- uh, calls and um, texts back f- and emails back from teachers that have witnessed smiles and understanding of different um, kids of uh, in this age bracket learning things that they don't get enough of at home. Mm. And just it's little things like, for example, we have a page in here that talks about saying grace. Mm-hmm. Well, most of the kids that the schools that we feature these at or supply these at have a grace at school. So if they're doing this at school, each time the child receives this book, they use it at school and then they're allowed to take it home with them and keep it. Mm-hmm. So when they get home, they might ask mom, hey, mom, how come we don't say grace? Uh-huh. We said it at school today. Mm-hmm. So they've learned this in, in a sub- subliminal way to maybe entertain the idea to their own parents that maybe just kind of forgot about saying grace. But it, it's all sequented in that fashion so they can learn some things that you know they don't practice maybe enough at home. I, I, yeah, it's kind of mind-boggling, really, to think, where where did things slip away? Where did that happen? You, when you just pause to return thanks, is how right. my grandmother even used to right. say, let's return thanks. Right. And just to, I can remember as a child, you know, our family singing the doxology in restaurants. Sure. And, you know, I... You know, we always prayed, whether we were out to eat or in our home. Where did that go away? What was, Is there a generation that just got lax? Or, you know, I'm throwing this out rhetorically to you. What are your thoughts on it? Um, I have I think back, I mean, this April will be 25 years I've been doing this. Mm. But as I just mentioned, there's little things about saying grace. Well, there's yes. a page in here that talks about the rules of friendship. And I remember going into a preschool 
one one day to get the count of how many books they need. And our preschools are, are 90 percent face based, uh, including YMCA's, mm -hmm. YWCA's. We also have reach out uh, facilities like the Salvation Army or any places that could use these. Yes. But as I was going into the uh, entrance of the preschool, I noticed that there was on an easel were listed the rules of friendship that can come right out of our book. Wow. And I asked the uh, teacher, I says, I can't believe it. I see the rules of friendship here. And I was wondering how, why you have them lot out on the easel before you enter the room. And she said, it's not for the kids, it's for the parents because we're having parent day this weekend and we want to make sure they know the rules of friendship oh as well. Oh my goodness, <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, part of this is, is it not, getting children to take this book back home and just start to review with parents who maybe have kind of forgotten from their own childhood some of these basic tenets of what we used to call good citizenship, but, you know, of life. Right. And, and it does, uh, it kind of reinsures the children that, you know, they have the, the, to make them feel comfortable at home. And, and all the things that they see, hear, touch, and feel is all part of life, something mm -hmm. that comes from God. And that's what we're trying to express. Throughout. Love the little uh, section that talks about the helpers in the community and to know that a fireman, a policeman, a doctor, and so forth, that these are friends and their helpers. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it, it, it talks about um, that life is a special gift and the people that they meet on their journey through life are also special and that grown ups are special and things that they are looking forward to learn about come from adults and other people out there that share types of community jobs that will assist them on learning and how to get somewhere and learn how to to do things other than what they're just growing up to, to, to mm -hmm. learn in the home. Why is this important? Uh, it's important for two things. Uh, primarily is to be aware of little things about where kids, when they're growing up, they just little things like, hey, let's not get mad at somebody if they have more friends than you do. And, of course, to personally and probably the reason why we're talking about this today is to be aware of who God is, mm -hmm. that God is somebody that has gave them the, the precious gift of life and also gave them their mom and dad and how they got here themselves. Do, they, do you get a chance to interact with children as they're receiving this book? Do you get a chance to see their reactions or responses? Oh, yes, many times, in, in, including in my own family. Mm. I've had uh, some incidences where the kids were learning how to read to each other, and I had to interrupt them and give them what we call one of Uncle Rick's books. So, <laughs> yes, I've experienced it many times out on the road and, in, in course, at home. But I... Uh, love the book or whatever it was it was like everything i need to know i learned in kindergarten and then recently for a birthday a friend gave me everything i need to know about life i learned from golden books which was very similar right i would say everything we need to know about life we can learn in life is a special gift god right. gives us right. um, we are speaking with rick pope from goodwill publishers going to find out more about this very special book and this very special gift after these words you're listening to our community <laughs> 